Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss about the intervals as a subset of real numbers. As we all know that the real number is the universal set for the every type of the numbers. If you are talking about the natural numbers or integers or whole numbers or simply positive integers or negative integers, any type of the number you say, you know, those all things falls under this uh, real numbers. So in real number line if you see, uh, if this is my real number line, and suppose this is representing positive infinity and this is representing negative infinity somewhere let's say here is zero so here you'll get one all right and then two and then three and so on similarly here minus one minus two minus three similarly number goes number decreases in left side and increases in right side so here infinite numbers are possible a anywhere you can take a huge number of you know here a lot of numbers are there like like 1.111, 1.251, like many numbers are possible. Similarly, here 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it goes till plus infinity, and here it decreases till negative infinity. So there are infinite number of subsets are possible. You can you can just take uh, this much only. So here, like suppose uh, I don't know from where it is starting and where it is going to end, but there are a lot of numbers, and that represents a subset of this real number. Similarly, if I'm taking the numbers. Uh, greater than 2 and smaller than 3 so here those numbers false similarly suppose if I'm uh, taking all the numbers which is greater than 0 right but less than 2 so these numbers falls under that category so in 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 that way you know there are huge numbers of sub subsets uh, uh, possible to create right so those subsets we're gonna categorize into two parts and we are going to learn about that and the first one will be closed interval this will give you uh, give us the easiness to learn that's it right it's not a different uh, like type of the sets or subsets it just uh, it will help us to uh, to learn the subset right to categorize the subsets uh, we, we will know from where the subset starts and till where it will uh, finish right so uh, such type of intervals we're going to learn it will just give you the two borders from where it is starting and where it is ending. So the first one is closed interval and the second one is open interval. Closed interval we represent like this by the big bracket. Similarly open interval we represent by small bracket. And now uh, after running this closed interval and open interval from mixing these two things you know by mixing this uh, closed interval and open interval we can again make two other things. Right? First one will be see first half closed and half open. All right? So that that said, we say semi closed interval and semi open semi open interval. All right. So how will be the semi closed and semi open interval? Let's let me uh, picturize here. Semi closed interval means from one side it is closed, right? But from another side it's open. Similarly, semi open from one side it is open, all right, and from another side it is closed. So how to learn this? Let's go properly. What exactly they mean uh, by taking example? It will be more clear for us to understand. First one, let's talk about closed interval. Closed interval. We take both things, right? Uh, so this is my big bracket representing the closed interval. Suppose this is my real numbers, all right? This is my real number line, and it is positive infinity, and this is negative infinity, all right? Now somewhere, let me suppose this is my A and this point is my B. And if I'm going to uh, write a subset in which I'm including the A, I'm going to include A, including A and bigger than all, all the numbers which is bigger than A, including A, okay, but smaller than B, but including B means I'm going to include include this A and b all the numbers bigger than A but less than B including B alright so here suppose if this is X number here here are uh, the numbers in this uh, region all the numbers in this region if I'm supposing that is X then these are actually greater than or equals to A but less than or equals to B so in that case uh, this type of the number system is known as the closed interval system. In which, uh, I mean, A is also going to include it. Like, if I'm putting here big bracket, it means I need to include A also, 
but less than b including b right this big bracket means i'm going to include that uh let me give an example here if i'm writing here suppose minus one two with a big bracket closing then what does it mean what do you understand from this i understand from this that x belongs from real number right so that x is you know x is greater than or equals to minus 1 but less than or equals to 2 so what are those number those numbers are these are real numbers right so i'm going to include minus 1 and all the smaller number all the sorry all the bigger number uh, than minus 1 Right, all those numbers, like including even zero, right? One, two, all those numbers. These all falls here, including two. So what I did here, I select the minus one also, and I select the two also, and those all numbers between minus one to two. If it is minus one, right? If this is minus one, and if this is minus two, then all the numbers in this region are. Uh, uh, are playing role just like a subset of this bigger real number. Uh, this is real number, uh, real number nine. I hope you understand what is closed interval. Uh, now let's talk about another one, open interval. So open interval. Uh, suppose I have a real line number. This is my positive infinity this is my negative infinity suppose somewhere it is zero or if you're not supposing then also it's okay that doesn't matter and suppose uh, this point I'm talking about this point and I'm talking about this point so but this is my point A and this is my point B I think it is not visible properly well now in open interval C actually I'm taking all the numbers greater than A but I'm not going to include this a exactly similarly I'm going to take all the numbers less than B but I'm not going to take here B means the numbers are this much only not A not B I'm not going to take this A part and I'm not going to take this B part so if the, all the numbers in this region is X then here X is such a number which is greater than A but not equals to A similarly is less than B but not equals to B right in previous one what we had done we had taken a and all the numbers greater than a similarly we had taken b and all the numbers less than b but here we are not going to take the a and b you know here if this is a number line this is representing a point similarly this is representing b point all right we're not going to take a and b but all the numbers which is greater than a and less than b this this falls here in previous one what we had if uh, if this is a number line and if this is point A and if this is point B then we were going to take even A and we're going to take even B right so those all is to fall in this but now we're not going to take A and B but between them all the numbers we're going to take for example if I'll take here example then suppose now I'm going to take like uh, again uh, minus 1 to 2 but with open interval then what does it mean that uh, all the numbers you know here if I'm writing minus 1 to 2 then here all the numbers greater than x uh, greater than uh, minus 1 right but less than 2 right it is something like this we're not going to take minus 1 but you can take all the number less than minus 1 in the number line if you see if this is minus 1 and if this is 0 and if this is 1 and if this is 2 then we're going to take all the numbers which are less than 2 this, this part and greater than minus 1 this part but not this these two alright so here you can say like uh, minus 0 0.9999999 but not 1 alright this will come and you can say 0 0.9999 and so on similarly 0 and then we get 1 and then 1.5 and you can you can increase till 1 point 1 point suppose 999 and again 1.9999999 but not 2 all right similar to that but less than 2 but we're not going to include here 2 all right keep in mind all right like that we're not going to take uh, uh, 
uh, two right this is what we say like actually uh, minus one we're, we're going to uh, we're not going to take minus one but uh, all the numbers bigger than minus one we're taking but till till two right and we're again not going to take the two I hope you understand what is open interval now we're going to talk about the semi open and semi closed intervals right so third one is what is semi 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 closed interval closed interval so from the name itself it is very clear semi means half closed interval half is closed like uh, half is closed and half is open all right so such kinds of interval is called semi closed and semi semi closed interval something like this if this is my number line all right and suppose this is my point a and this is my point b then i'm going to take a I will include A, but I will not include A. And if I'm not going to include A, then in that time, I need to make it spacier, right? I'm not going to take this B part. And all the numbers bigger than uh, uh, bigger than A, including A, I'm taking, right? And all the numbers less than B, not including the B, we are going to take, right? So uh, if if X represent the numbers here in this region, then it is something like the X is greater than or equals to A but less than b i hope you understand what does it mean all right let me give an example of this semi closed interval suppose one is closed suppose one is closed but three is open so uh, what does it mean that my x is greater than or equals to one but less than three all right and this will be something like i'm going to include one and I'm going to include all the numbers bigger than 1, right? Similarly, uh, I can say like 0 0.5 and 0, right? And then like uh, 0 0.5 and then 1 and then 2, 2.5, right? All the numbers, but uh, like 2, 2.9999, like that, right? But not going, I'm not going to write here 3. I can't write this 3, right? But here I'm including this one. Keep in mind. So that is why we say this is semi-closed uh, interval. I'm taking one, but I'm not going to take three. But all the number less than three, I'm going to take. I hope you understand what is semi-closed interval. Exactly opposite it is semi-open in interval. In semi-open interval, I'm going to write here uh, fourth. I think yeah, semi-open interval. In semi-open interval, what are we going to take? Semi-open means a uh, half open and half is closed. So half is open and half is closed like this if this is my number line and let me suppose this is my point a and this is my point b then this time what i'm going to do i'm going to include this b and all the number less than b i'm going to take but this time what i'm going to do i'm not going to take this a right but i'm going to take all the numbers bigger than a not exactly a but all the numbers uh, bigger than a so if if here x is representing all the numbers in this region in uh, as a, or we can say this subset then that time uh, x i can write like bigger than a but less than or equals to b right my pen is not writing properly uh, it is like if x x is actually greater than a but less than or equals to b right let me give example here uh, suppose here I'm writing again the same like this one two three and semi open it is so one side I'm making open and another side I'm making closed Means I'm going to take this time three but I'm not going to take one so here it means like my X is uh, is greater than one but less than or equals to three or equals to three means I'm going to take this time three and, and all the numbers less than three till one till 1 but I'm not going to take 1 so it means it is like 0 0.9999999 imagine you something like this all right and then you can take like 0 and then 1 and then 2 and all those numbers uh, between them because it's a real number so real numbers are in points also rationals also irrationals also all the numbers are there so it is something like this so not exactly 1 you cannot write here 1 but all the number less than 1 you can write here similarly here you can write the 3 and all the number less than 3 you can write in this side because it is uh, closed from this side, right? And 
uh, it is something like that. that's how we say that is one three three it is all right and if you say something like this if this is your real number then what we're we going to take uh, one side I'm not going to take this is open but this is closed all right this is open so let me make it open all right this is something like this and similarly in semi open if you have seen say, sorry semi closed it was like this if this was my real number then uh, from one side it is uh, open and one side it is closed so as I say semi closed means one side it is closed but other side I need to make open so I'm not going to take this one Right, so this is semi open and semi closed interval. I hope you understand. If there is any problem or any suggestions to give me, then you can feel free to comment just below this video. I'll be very happy to hear something from your side. All right, catch you in the next video with a new concept. Probably we'll be learning universal set or power set, etc. In the next video, catch you in the next video. Goodbye.